That's on the uh, CMA Awards. I'll find out date and time. I think it's ABC, sounds about right. The Oprah and Adele things this weekend. You know what else we have going on is the Louisville International Festival of Film, 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 Film. You get creative people from all around the world submitting films. Because I had Conor, Conrad Bachman on the other day, and he was talking about from all these different countries, these people submit these unbelievable films. Some are full length, some are shorts. And uh, it's virtual. This year it's only 10 bucks, by the way. And then you can watch the films for a whole seven days online. Go to LouisvilleFestivalOfFilm.org and learn more. But I've got one of the filmmakers with me right now. His name's Samuel Gibson. Welcome, Samuel. Hey, Terry. It is good to have you on here, brother. I hear that your short film has been accepted and it will be displayed as part of the Louisville International Festival of Film. You have to be proud of that. Oh, yeah. That's right. All right, have you made a bunch of films, or is this your first? Give me a little idea of what you're doing. Uh, so this is actually the first real attempt, I guess you would call it. Um, a lot of the older stuff that I have made is uh, probably almost unwatchable. So <laughs> this is probably the first thing. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Samuel, everybody that creates things artistically learns, feels the same way, you know? <laughs> They look at their oh, own stuff mean, and go, oh, my God. Oh, what was I thinking? But that's part of the growth path. Right. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's all part of it. Uh, but, yeah, so this is definitely my first uh, attempt at, you know, um, I'm making something. And, um, uh, yeah, it is a short film, so I haven't quite hit the, you know, feature length. But, yeah, it's all just uh, baby steps, you know. Uh, okay. Yeah, I understand you shot it here in the Louisville area. Is that correct? Uh, that, yeah, that's correct. Um, so, well, tell me what you can about it without giving it all away. Okay, so it uh, takes place on uh, Christmas Eve. It's uh, 1977, and um, I was very adamant to have it in 77. Uh, unfortunately, I wasn't alive at that time, but uh, that was the same year that, of course, Star Wars released. Of course. And also um, Close Encounters of the Third Kind. Oh, so yeah. That was a great year for cinema. So I figured if I was going to make a sci-fi film, we got to make it set in that year. Um, so you have uh, two brothers, and uh, they are played by uh, Spencer Kingsley and Damon Sutter. And um, they happen to see a massive light outside of their window. Um, and they are connected to two strangers that are played by Kat Gore and uh, David Hatfield as well. Oh, I love, um, so. I love this premise. And I'm guessing just by your mentions of uh, Star Wars and Close Encounters, is that what it was? That was the other film? Yes. That uh, there's, there's going to be some, uh, there's some inner uh, celestial activity going on there. Yeah, yeah, I think, I think that's definitely what's going on there. Um, but, you know, I definitely wanted to keep it very minimal, gotcha. um, you know, uh, very simple. So, yeah, it's um, it, um, yeah, it's very heavily inspired by uh, those films for sure. That's mighty cool. Nineteen seventy-seven. You know, we have a famous quarterback uh, who played in the NFL who was born on seven seven seventy-seven. His name's Chris. Oh, wow. Chris Redman. Yeah, that's his birthday. That's why we all. That's why why he wore jersey number seven. And uh, so there you go. There's, oh. there's a little 1977 trivia for you right there, brother. Okay. Uh, all right. So yeah, that's a whole other world for me. <laughs> so are you going to work on another film project, or do you want to see if this one goes anywhere? What, what's what's your game plan? Oh, I mean, uh, I'm I'm already working on the next thing. You know, not even stop. I mean, uh, you know, that's just how it is when you have a burning passion passion for something like this. You know, you're just constantly uh you know even i mean in the past i've had some, of course blowbacks you know um I, a lot of uh you know that's just all part of it you know it's it's a growing process and i mean losing you, you're going to lose more than you're going to win and um you know and i think that's all just part of the growing process of yeah. of getting to where you want to be and um so yeah i think um so yeah i'm already writing the next thing and uh just on already on to the next thing you know and then do you and, go um, and get your friends to be the actors or do you go and get people who are regular actors because your friends do it for free uh it's funny you ask that uh because you know i've talked about the unwatchable films 
you know, those were all starring my grandfather, my cousin, <laughs> <laughs> my, you know, my high school buddies, you know, so I said, so I'm not going to do that. You know? <laughs> It turns into everybody just, you know, cutting up, and it's right. kind of fun, but, you know, I said, if I'm going to make a serious film, right. you know, I'm going to do it right, so... I yeah, and, and, and you're trying to tell them what to do, and they're rubbing you on the head, oh, Samuel, oh, cut it out. <laughs> of course. <laughs> of course. I love this. Um, yeah, so, uh, but anyway, yeah, I reached out to uh, local casting agencies, and um, so all these people are real actors, you know, so... Good, good. Um, well, Sam, yeah. well, Samuel, I, I want to follow your film career. Is there a website where people mm -hmm. can find you and see what you're doing? Uh, right now, we are uh, available on Facebook. Uh, you can look up Electrodome Pictures. Uh, that's the uh, the uh, production company I'm currently working underneath. Okay. Um, and you can also look up Bright on Facebook as well and follow the film. There. Br Bright the film? Uh, yes, if you look up Bright 2021, it should come up on Facebook okay. as well. Very good. Well, Samuel Gibson, we're going to follow your progress and see if you turn into the next Spielberg, because we need a big-time okay. movie creator out of Louisville. I mean, that guy, right. that guy Bruckheimer, he lives down the road. He lives over there around yeah. uh, uh, Harrodsburg, somewhere. He's got a big spreader. We'll go knock on his door and say, I'm a filmmaker, Jerry. Uh, well, you know. You're a big-time producer. Let's get together. <laughs> Take yeah. him, take uh, him, take him a uh, gilded hockey puck. He loves hockey. That's what I've heard about him. I think it's Bloom, okay. Bloomfield, Kentucky. And so, well, I appreciate the tip. Well, he's one of the biggest oh, no, movie producers in the world. He lives here in Kentucky half the time. All right. Well, you know, Jerry Bruckheimer. Uh, you've, you've, yeah, puck. you've heard of Top Gun before, right? Oh, of course. Of course. Well, that's him. He's a producer of all kinds of unbelievable films, but uh, that's just one of the, the mega hits he's had. Yeah, he's a big hockey fan. He built an ice rink in Bloomfield, Kentucky, just so he could bring in you know his famous <laughs> hockey playing buddies to, to get on the ice. I am not making this up. So contact him, oh, Samuel. I, I See what it. happens. All right, and the Louisville International Festival of Film begins tomorrow, mm -hmm. runs, and actually it's a $10 fee, and you can watch all the films they have through the next week go to louisville right. international excuse me louisville festival of film.org that's that's the website for that samuel gibson uh best of luck to you buddy we'll keep an eye on you all right okay thanks so much terry great talking to you that's samuel gibson budding film